Hello guys, what is up? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited and ready to film this video. I have no idea what I'm titling this, but basically I am giving my room a little bit of a tidy up, a little bit of an organization and a little bit of a makeover. I've slowly been accumulating things over the past week since I decided that this was going to be a happening thing. So that stuff is, we've got photo frames, we've got a big box of stuff over here, just extraneous things that need to be put in their place. So I also need to organize a lot of things because this is my childhood room. I've been in the same room for nearly 20 years and so there's a lot of stuff that's just yeah accumulated. So I need to clean out my wardrobe, my desk, my drawers and my dressing table and also underneath my bed because I was the kid that when things were messy and they needed to be tidy you would just kick it under the bed. There's a lot of stuff that is being kicked under the bed to the point where you can't actually see daylight from one side to the other. So that is what I need to sort out today because a lot of it is just, well, rubbish to be quite honest. But I'm going to bring you guys along with me because I love watching organisational videos, interior design videos, like it's... I love it. Everything, I'm pretty sure everything that I'm putting in place is here except for my bedside tables. I ordered some from Mocha which match my buffet that I have in my room back in Hamilton. So it's just like a rattan two drawer bedside table situation. So I've got one of those for either side of my bed which will hopefully be here in the next week before this goes up. So we'll be able to slot them in once they arrive. I think I wanted to start by tackling, actually no, I might tackle, I've got like random stuff. I might just move all the stuff that's on the floor like out into the hallway. Start with my wardrobe because then as I clean out my other drawers and stuff I can stick stuff in my wardrobe. This is going to be such a big task. I don't think I, this is so much stuff. is so broken right now normally when you flip <laughs> so stupid when you flip the lid up it the lid the screen up it like flips the video up so you're looking at yourself and it's like a mirror I'm looking at myself right now and I'm upside down anyway we are tackling the wardrobe and I just found these I this is why I shouldn't have had a Visa debit card from such a young age. Photo of Sage Night Dream World, photo of Paige and I. But there's such bad photos. I look, I, I can't figure out how to line this up because everything's upside down. I knew it was only a matter of time before I found this little gem. These are all the keychains and like little phone things that I got when I was in Japan. Oh my gosh, an iPod strap. The Osaka Aquarium. Nara with the deer. Is that a Disney one? Oh my gosh. Disneyland. It's got like your name and the date and then the place. And on the other side it has the temple. And a little celery because the place where we stayed is known for its celery. Is that Tom or is that Jerry? That's Jerry, isn't it? Anyway, I would used to go in the earphone jack of my iPod and I used to, oh my goodness. I had a matching one of these with my best friend Alyssa. I'm just looking at this little box of goodies. We have some pink fake little ear pod things that were nine dollars i remember buying those thinking i was just the bee's knees my old ipod um back in the day before ipods came with cameras selfie stick remote what you can see in the wardrobe right now is my clothes that i've bought here from hamilton those i don't need to sort out because it's like my favorite clothes so i'm obviously not gonna get rid of them but <laughs> got a bit of rubbish happening so organizing the boxes that live up the top of my wardrobe and I've kind of moved over to this dressing table and started organizing through the bottom drawer of that. But I found this, and this is an absolute long shot, but I was given this for my birthday. Like, I don't know when. It would have been like year four, maybe, because the girl who gave it to me moved schools. But look at this. I've always kept it because it's just so beautiful. Her grandmother carved this for me and put it on a necklace. I don't know if she watches my videos. This is a very long shot, but Lucretia. If you watch my videos, I doubt that you do. I've still got it and I refuse to get rid of it. I have all the stuff to go into my room out here in the hallway. And my room 
They're looking nice and tidy-ish. I'm gonna rearrange all this next. I've got new photos. Also gonna sort out that because that is not staying. Those are all photos from when I finished high school and I, that was a long time ago now, so I just need to move on. To go on this wall, I have two very pretty poster. Well, I got them printed on poster paper, so it was a bit cheaper. These two A2 size print. This one here is Fizzy Younger, this one here is Fanga Matar. And I've got some frames which I bought today, which hopefully I was measuring out in the shop. And I think these frames are going to be about 60 mils too high, but I think I should be able to get away with it, hopefully. I don't know how I want to hang the frames, but yeah. Dad's not going to want to put holes in the wall. But if you look up close at this wall, I used to have a pin board up here. I used to have some artwork. I used to have this metal thing. So there's like heaps of very little holes and then a few bigger ones and a few just complete paint strips. This wall has definitely seen better days, so I don't think a few extra screws is going to make much of a difference. Mirror. Can you guys see yourselves? How cute. And this is going right here. And it is very short. I'm used to my one in Hamilton that's like crystal. But this was a third of the price, so we will settle for it. Oh, this stinks. Now, this is arguably the most important part. The new, you can't even see what I'm putting my hand on, the new duvet. I have had this in my room for it'll be a week tomorrow and I have not been able to put it on my bed because I have not had the right size duvet in it because my bed at the moment is a queen size and it has a queen duvet on it but I wanted a king duvet and king duvet in it so that it would hang over the size of the bed because that's what I have in Hamilton and I love it, I think it looks great, it means a little extra duvet to snuggle up in which is also fantastic and so that is what I've done this time around so I need to get a whole duvet in it which I got yesterday because good old Briscoe's had 60% off. This is the exact same one that I had at the flat, and so it's like hypoallergenic, sustainable, recycled material. It's called the Eco Duvet, as you can see. So I need to first probably strip my bed that I already have. Two of these lamps to go on either bedside table. I was gonna wait till the new bedside tables arrive, but I'm here, I'm on a roll, I'm just gonna do it. Moment of truth. Yes. Call me Bob the Builder. Hello guys, it is a few days later and today I am going to hang my artwork up on the wall. The prints are A2 size, that's two A3s put together. So I've got two A3 pieces of paper up there. I had another one over here to mark out where I want them to go. So those are just up there with blue tack. I've taken one of them down because I'm going to put this one up today. I have this set of command strips which they're supposed to hold 7.2 kilos. I just went and weighed this and it's like 2.5 kilos but I am going to do all four. Like I'm going to use the whole pack because I don't really want it to fall on my head in the middle of the night. So the more the merrier. So I might just set up a time lapse for you guys and uh, you can you can spectate. Let's do it. Same day, different outfit, but I have more command strips to put 
the next piece of art up. I'm a little bit nervous. This one obviously has not fallen yet and I don't think it will, but obviously I sleep here and so if it falls in the night, it's gonna do some damage. It should be fine, as I said, they can hold 7.2 kilos and this is only two and a half. So if there's a problem with that, then that's not my problem. Well, it will be when it falls in my face. And the final step is to put together my bedside table. So these arrived the other day. They took quite a while to come actually, but I need to put them together and like assemble them. But they are the same style, like Savannah style, as the Rattan buffet I have up in my room back at the flat. So I'm still undecided if I like these. I might actually do a swap and bring my ones from Hamilton, which also Rattan up here, um, which don't have drawers, whereas these have two drawers. So I'm gonna actually go downstairs and put these together so I have a bit more space to, a bit more space than this to assemble them. I think I might actually give these to Owen's flatmates because they were gonna go buy bedside tables and I was like, I have some that I don't want anymore and I would love if you could just take them. And they're like, okay. We're getting there. I put this one back up on the wall so those hopefully will not fall down in the night. I'm a little bit nervous, not gonna lie. Drawers are finished and good to go. The second one didn't go together quite as smoothly, but I just unscrewed the tracks on that side and lowered it, and then it was fine. We're good, so I need to swap out with those ones, which are going to Owen's flatmates. Here we have it. Oh my gosh, it looks just like my mood board. I, again, why my 14 year old self felt the need to choose blue curtains, I will never know. But now that we have an interior design diploma, we kind of know what we're doing and we kind of know not to make those sorts of mistakes. As you can see though, it is currently night time, so I will do an overview in the morning when it is daylight and I think it's gonna be raining tomorrow, so. Anyway, I will do an overview before we close off the video. Not spots, I'm just gonna use the compass app on my phone. 